My name is Shonda Miles. I am in my seventh month as a program officer. Thank you for those claps. Uh, <laughs> seventh month as the program officer for arts and culture at the Heinz Endowment. So I want to take a moment just to thank Grant and Janet Sabar for bringing me on board to work alongside some great people in creativity, Cindy Stuber and Mac Housen, as we serve communities through the work of the Heinz Endowment. So, cities in the United States and around the world are re-emerging as the epicenters of the economy and culture. As we continue exploring how to build a future city, we will now examine how to create places that are vibrant, equitable, and accessible. We will consider ways to promote innovation and community development in urban planning and design. This will require developing new and inclusive strategies in areas ranging from infrastructure to arts, so that we can reshape our communities to be livable for all. Our speakers will help us rethink old assumptions and present innovative ideas about how to move people around, use public spaces, incorporate creative expression in building community, and ensure public participation in molding our public realm. Joining us first will be John Bela. John is not only a first-time father to a three-week-old baby boy, uh, but he is also a partner at GEL, a global leader in people-centered urban design. He is the director of GEL San Francisco. As an urban innovator and public space designer, John works with cities and communities to translate human-scale, people-first strategies and policies into quality places and experiences. Our last speaker for this portion of the program is Damon Rich. Damon is a partner at Hector in urban design, planning, and civic arts practice. The firm's recent projects include designing a neighborhood park in one of Philadelphia's most diverse communities, constructing a housing crisis learning center at Queens Museum, and creating a memorial for eco-feminist sister Carol Johnston. Damon also founded and was president for 10 years of the Center for Urban Pedagogy, an internationally recognized nonprofit organization that uses art and design to increase meaningful civic engagement. But we begin with John Bela. <laughs> 